Well, the GOP's presidential front runner has been wiped off Colorado's primary ballot, and the move could have an effect on who actually grabs the nomination at the RNC. Uh, the Colorado Supreme Court made the judgment based on a rarely used part of the Constitution that bars anyone from taking office if they engaged in insurrection. Uh, Trump plans to take the case to SCOTUS and appeal the decision. Biden, while saying it's evident that Trump is an insurrectionist, balked when questioned if it's enough to remove him from from the presidential race entirely. Now, this is an extremely rare move Colorado made. It's such a seldom used subsection of the Constitution that it's only been enacted a handful of times, but that could change. Local 5 Dana Searles joins us now to break down how this clause works, and it'll, it'll be used against Trump again. Stephanie, the ruling is something that no other state has done before, and with Colorado being the first, experts say we could see other states follow. However, in a 4-3 to three decision, experts add that every part of this ruling is something Trump could challenge. It's a section of the 14th Amendment that was enacted after the Civil War. And it was designed to basically say that if you had taken an oath of office to the Constitution or to the United States, and then you'd betrayed that office, and that oath by you know, committing rebellion or insurrection, then you're not eligible to serve in office. Essentially, you're disqualified. The amendment is usually seen in race or sex discrimination cases. However, the due process clause is what is being used against the former president. That this is a part of the 14th Amendment that doesn't get used that often. Like I said, there's an equal protection clause, a due process clause. Those are in another part. This does isn't an issue that's happened really very often. Other states could follow Colorado's lead, turning the election into a jigsaw puzzle, with Trump fitting into some states and not others. Well, there's just huge questions. This is a ruling that's, as I said, unprecedented. Some other states have stayed away from it. Almost every issue in this ruling is something you could challenge. Experts say that Trump could argue aspects like freedom of speech if he is considered an officer and actually engaged in an insurrection and his specific intent. You kind of have to have some knowledge of what his intent was. Did he really intend for this, what, what transpired after his speech occurred? Well, he never testified. There was no cross-examination, so they relied heavily on the January 6th report. The ruling states that if the U.S. Supreme Court decided to take up this case, which experts say could be likely, Trump could still be on the primary ballot if the Supreme Court reviews it before January 4th, which is the day before the Colorado primary ballots have to be submitted. Stephanie. Very interesting, Dana, thank you. The Iowa GOP is condemning the Colorado High Court's decision. Party Chair Jeff Kaufman posted to X today, calling the ruling, quote, egregious anti-democratic election interference from the same crowd constantly and fanatically bemoaning the death of democracy. Iowans will start the process of putting an end to this nonsense on January 15th.